I actually have a visualization technique exercise that I want to run you guys through. Um, and it's something that I would recommend you guys do literally every single time you have any doubt in your mind about your ability to accomplish something. If you think that you're not the best person on the phone, use this visualization technique. If you're a little apprehensive about doing a listing appointment, do this. And this is not just business. If you need to have a difficult conversation with somebody, let's say you want to talk to your spouse about something, do this in your mind before you have that conversation. If you know, you, you're going to go have a parent-teacher conference meeting and you want to make sure that you're prepped and ready to have this conversation with a teacher, do this in your mind. Okay? So I'm going to ask everybody to close their eyes. I'm not going to turn the lights out or make you lay on your back. <laughs> so I want you to visualize yourself walking into an empty movie theater. You see all the different places to sit. You see the silver screen up in front of you. It's completely empty. Choose any seat in the room that you like, wherever you feel most comfortable. As soon as you sit down, the lights start to dim. The projector turns on. On the screen, you see yourself. You are executing whatever activity it is that you are cautious about, that you are apprehensive about. It might be a listing appointment. You might be door knocking. You might be making a phone call. Whatever that activity is for you, you see yourself executing it perfectly. Your tone of voice is exactly the way it should be. Look at what your facial expression is. The little body language that you're showing. What kind of clothes are you wearing? What kind of shoes do you have on? Can you feel what the temperature is in the room that you're in? What's the reaction of the other person? Now, as they approve whatever it is that you're asking them to do, what are you feeling from this? Are you excited? Are you proud of yourself? Are you happy? Let that feeling resonate through you. Now, I want you to get up out of your seat in the movie theater, and you're going to walk up to the screen. As you walk up to the screen, there's going to be a door that appears in the screen that you walk through. As you walk through the door and the screen, you now are looking out of your own eyes during the activity. You are now experiencing yourself through this activity, executing it perfectly. You're watching the other person accept what you have to say, approve what you're asking them. Now you're feeling that feeling of happiness, of pride, of excitement. Now I want you to visualize yourself walking back out of that door into the movie theater. Now you reach up to the screen and as you touch the screen, it shrinks down to fit inside the, inside the palm of your hand. Now you're gonna fold the screen up. That movie is still playing. You can still see yourself executing that activity perfectly. So you fold it up into a small little piece and you eat it. Visualize that going into your body and as it gets into your body, it starts to spread throughout your body. Just like when you're at Best Buy and they've got 50 televisions playing the same thing on the wall, now you have yourself executing that activity perfectly 
flowing through your body. You can go to open your eyes. So, embodying a visualization is extremely powerful. And it might seem a little awkward. <laughs> I appreciate you guys doing that with me. Um, but it is something that at the highest level, executives, athletes, this is something that they do on a regular basis to improve their personal performance. And you can utilize it with anything. So you have to feed your mindset. You have to constantly challenge yourself. Because if you want what you don't have, you have to do something you're currently not doing. <laughs>